Hi, hello, this is a video to explain uh, what needs to be modified for uh, for the project so we could add uh, the look company to the to the foundation file. So the idea is that, uh, for example, I will only do the example for location. The idea is that uh, some files in the foundation in I.1 uh, don't have any more the company. And the idea uh, is to uh, add back the company uh, column like in 7604. Since on remedy on demand, there is no real um, uh, reason to to just uh, discard the company because uh, well, uh, the factory has uh, by default all access on all companies. So well, it would be more interesting to get back the company. So you have one big file for everyone, like in 7604, rather than uh, one file per company, and it could be a mess because all the files in green basically are um, uh, well multiple company. So they can handle multiple companies, and this one only. We those files in the purple don't handle the multi-tenancy, it's only a single tenancy, so that's a problem, and especially for people. So the, uh, the idea is to take the, the file from BMC, and for example for location, to add back the company. So like, as you can see, it's in purple, the modifications are in purple, so it's only on three tabs. And so I did, uh, I modified the files from BMC. Uh, so on the load seed group I added back the company on company association and on region because on Citans Italia so don't have the company anyway. So the idea is uh, just to try to import this one so basically 7604 style. So the first step is to add back the company into the um, into some spreadsheet, into the spreadsheet, and then to find a way to alter the uh, the job file into uh, into Remedy. So uh, in Remedy, uh, the loading part is done using uh, Atrium uh, Integrator, and uh, the idea is actually quite simple. The idea is to just uh, modify the import job, the loading job. So for that you need to launch the Pentel data integration tool to just log in. So it will connect to the server, RS server. Uh, then to load the repository. And uh, the idea, like, we s like I said, is uh, just to change the location file, the location process. So as you can see, you have got a lot of things here and uh, it's all the trans transformation list. So you got the people, product catalog, support group, uh, like uh, everything for all the files. And the idea is just to take the, the transformation for location and to open it. So the first thing is to do a backup of it, just in case. So once you open it, you just save as to backup. Okay, and then then we open the repository again. So we open the location. And so how does it work? As you can see we have got here the spreadsheets. So CIT, load CIT group, CTM load region, uh, load CIT company association, load CIT, load CIT alias. The idea is that it begins uh, by loading the, the tab, then it, add, uh, it gets uh, some variables and uh, then it does a mapping to from the um, ARS form to the spreadsheet. So we'll begin by the beginning. So we'll change only those three ones to add back the company and by default uh, the company is set to the job uh, from the Atrium integrator job so if i log in for example with a people that has the permission to create some uh, integration job
and I create a job. You can see that you can define the company. Okay. And in fact, by default, uh, the integration job is taking this company, this information, and is setting the company um, into the from the spreadsheet with Calibro services, for example. Because in the Excel files, by default, uh, in the A.1 uh, or in the A.0 uh, from BMC, you don't have this column. But you need it, you need the information because it's an association, for example, so you need the information. So what it does is that, in fact, the company column is removed, has been removed by BMC from the spreadsheet. But in the system, you need it. So it takes the information from company from the job. So from here, Calbro services, it's a variable and it's take, taking the result. So. Uh, the idea is that uh, we need to set, it, uh, to set it anyway, but we want to set the company into the spreadsheet. So how can we do that? So I open double clicking on the spreadsheet. Uh, we go straight to fields and as you can see we find the fields uh, from the spreadsheet. So C group, region, description and status. So it's from load C group. See group, region, description, and status. So we want to add the company first. So we just right click on the one and insert before this line. We enter the column name. So it's company type string minus one, minus one, none, no. So it's basically exactly the same thing. And that's all. It's done. For this step, it's the loading part, it's done. We just declared that there is an extra column to, to be loaded. Then on the mapping part, so you double click on the mapping, you can see there is a field association. And for example, here you associate the company uh, from, uh, oops, sorry, you associate the company to the job company and job company is a variable. So we don't, wa we don't want that, we want the company we just declared in the load seed group. So, okay. Because when you do the get variables, you can see that the job company is coming from the GMT job company, so from, the, uh, from here. So we don't want that. We want in the mapping to come from the spreadsheet and not from the variable. So, it's done for load seed group, so we have to do exactly the same thing for um, uh, the other two spreadsheets. So it's company type string minus one, minus one, none, and no. Then to alter the mapping. We associate company to the company from the spreadsheet and we do the same thing for seed company association. Oops. And none. Okay, we modify the mapping. So company is mapped to the company from IRS is mapped with company from the spreadsheet. So it's done. And the, so you save. And the modification is all done on uh, the Atrium integrator uh, side. And it's finished. Basically everything is done right now. It's ready to be used. So, so right now I will create a job. So I will use this one. Save it. I create using BMC template like uh, like like uh, usual. I select a file, so I prepared this file. Uh, it's on already on the virtual machine. So as you can see, I'm loading file from K4 Calbro Services, SNCF, and Bernard Deli. So uh, I will select the spreadsheet. Uh, 
Euh, Save. Go back to the job. Say it's ready to be used. And I run the job. So it will take a little time because, uh, well, that's how it's working. And uh, so as you can see, uh, the job, uh, the company for, for the job is Calvo Services. But actually in, uh, in the spreadsheet, I declared uh, some seat and a seat alias. And uh, on the region, I declared some region, but for three companies. For the seat group for three companies and seed company association for three companies. Before, in A.1 out of the box, I would have, if I wanted to do this, I would have had to, to create like four site files. So basically, one for the site, because uh, you can create a site and uh, you can use the same site for several companies. Then one set of file for Calpro services, one set of file for SNCF and one set of file for Bernardelli. So that means that uh, this file is uh, saving like uh, four files so it's uh, basically the same uh, principle as 7604 right now so the load is done the validate and promotion okay so as you can see is uh, currently working so we have got to wait a little <laughs> enjoy the music in the meantime So before uh, everything, uh, so like I said, uh, on A.1 out of the box, when I said it was four files, so one file with the seat, one file for Calbro, one side, one uh, one file for Calbro, one file for SNCF, one file for Bernardelli, so four files, and also uh, four jobs. The first one to load the site, the first, uh, the second one, uh, I would have to choose the company SNCF, then the second one uh, Calbro Services, and another one Bernardelli. So four jobs, four files, four jobs, four reasons to screw up something. Basically, so everything is loaded right now. And uh, the idea is to see if it's working, so I will use FAP admin because FAP admin as I uh, can see everyone. Uh, because as you will, uh, as I will show you, the idea behind that uh, on dot one out of the box is that uh, they say that um, it's. Some files were not uh, multi-tenant anymore, so um, for example, Amélie Poulain, as you can see, she is from company SNCF and she is supposed only to see Calbro services and SNCF. So the idea behind the restriction, company restriction in the one of the box is that, for example, they wanted that Amélie could only uh, load data from the company she could access, so from Calpro services and SNCF. So kind, it makes kind of sense for on-premise uh, on premise solution, but not really for a remedy on demand, because on remedy on demand, basically the factory can access all companies and can see all the companies. So as you can see, Amelie right now did the import job and she only could access to Calbro services and SNCF. And what is interesting is that, as you can see, you got the Bernardelli company, so we'll see if she could have loaded the Bernardelli, even if she couldn't access the company information. So I will check only the seat. Oops. So sites so Paris. So these are two the two uh, sites I just created right now. I'm not cheating, you can see it's on current date and time. So I created those two sites. So they are here on the system. So, okay, that's cool. And let's see the alias, so uh, we don't care. And the company relationship. As you can see, the site Paris is linked now to the Bernardelli Calbro services and SNCF. And same thing for the other one. 
So it's basically exactly the same, exactly what we wanted, and it's exactly working as expected. Meaning that uh, right now, using wife one file, uh, well, it's much better because uh, you create just one file uh, for all the three companies and uh, one uh, import job instead of three or four. So it's uh, much faster. And uh, when you send files, for example, for to the factory, uh, it's much easier to, to handle because you just send one file instead of three or four. You gain a lot of time and it's, uh, in my opinion at least, it's much better. It's much easier to handle. So, well, so let's see if it's working. So I will create a new people. I will use the Bernard Lee. And as you can see, uh, I chose the Bernardelli company and you've got the two, two new sites right now. So it's working and you still have, you, st you have the region and the six group that, were, that are in the Excel file. So basically it's working. And uh, so as you could see, it was very simple to just uh, uh, modify the job, integration job. And uh, it took like, uh, I don't know, two minutes or something. And you need to do it only once per environment and per, per file. So as you could see, uh, oh, I closed it. So as you could see, there are only one to five files uh, where company was re was removed by BMC and Edit One, Fair Financials, People Org, Location, Support Group, and People because on people uh, so the company is missing basically only from the second time from the CTM people time it's okay for the other times actually so it's only five files you need to five import job in integrator you need to modify and it's uh, I think it would take about I don't know 15 minutes or something and uh, just modifying uh, that, you don't need to do something uh, fancy on the uh, IRS and it should be working like uh, very nicely. Well, thanks for watching and uh, bye.